Hi, welcome to Yogea. I'm Antonia, and we're going to go through an exciting intermediate routine with a lot of subtle weight shifts focusing on smooth and fluid transitioning and culminating with some inavasanas, new asana that came up through the practice. So let's get started. We will go directly into down dog. Take your most glorious down dog, curl the toes under, lift the hips up and back, drop the heels down, lengthen through the upper and the lower body. Walk the hands slightly into the top of your mat, make your down dog as long as possible, and then ripple from your sacrum through your upper back into a quasi up dog and then go back into the down dog. Exhale and inhale. And exhale. And inhale. Exhale, drop the knees, flex the feet, lower your forearms down. Come onto the crown of your head. Now curl the toes under. Lift up into a dolphin. Drop the knees. Dipping into Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, lift the right leg up. Exhale, bring the right knee to the left elbow. Inhale, extend the leg to the side, coming into cross-legged down dog. And now thread your left arm in the opposite direction of the leg. Feel the twist, the stretch in your IT band, and then hand back in, bend the knee, knee into the elbow, cross-legged down dog. Step the foot through, walk the back foot slightly in. Walk your left hand to align with your right foot and reach your right arm to hug your left ankle. Deepen the breath here, go deeper. Flex the right foot, maybe bend the right elbow or stay here. And warrior one, step your foot to feel the stance. Seal through the back foot. Find your inner spiral. Grab your right hip with your left hand. Bring your right hand on your left shoulder and pull everything into a squared position. Even the hips out, even the shoulders out. Deep in the breath. And then reach the left hand up into your neck. Right hand wraps around it. Taking Sharky Bind. Here it is, Sharky Bind. Bend the knee, look up. Exhale, forward standing bend. In Sharky Bind. Inhale, lift up, arch. Exhale, forward bend. Deepen here. Lengthen your spine, square the hips off. Lift halfway up to flood back, bend your front knee and step your back foot close to the heel. Transfer the weight just for a moment. Now scoop your belly in. Contract, contract. And once you step back onto your right foot, press through all the corners. Float your left knee up. Anchor the left foot into the right knee. Bring the right elbow to the left knee and hold it here in this variation of eagle.
Grab the left thigh with both hands, crisscrossing them in front. Extend the leg. And slide the left hand into yogic toe lock. Open here. Bring the right hand to your waist. Open to the side. Hold here and extend it. Big toe pose and then right hand moves to the left kidney or into the crease of the hip. Lift it up. Come off your hip notch. Lift it higher and higher. And then bend the right knee, figure four, ankle to knee. Thread the arms through, clasp your hands into a snowflake. Another exciting inavasana, sit lower, feel your hip stretch. Left hand down to the floor, twist it out. Relax your left shoulder. Lift your gaze up. Sit more. Twist more. Right hand floats back down to the floor. Spin your right foot only. And hop the foot slightly back. So when you bend the right knee and you clasp the left elbow, you can connect the right elbow with the right knee in one line. Hold it here, tone the quad, and lower it down. Left hip down to the floor. Grab the outside edge of your left foot with the right hand. Open the leg out to the side. Then bend it back again, twist out, shoulder to knee. Breathe. And now when you come back to that clasp, opposite foot, opposite arm, you're going to lift your hips, readjust your left hand slightly back so when you lift your hips, your shoulder will track over the wrist. Extend the leg and peek through the window. Let's try it step by step. Lift your hips. Extend the leg. Heel toe the right foot out. Now look through the window. Gaze up. One more breath here. And lower your left hip down. Roll through the top of the right foot. Take a twist. Extend your left arm back and readjust to the front of the mat. Breathing in and out here. Now, left heel flows down to the floor. Left foot wraps around the right thigh. Tip to the side on your elbow. Thread your left arm through and grab for the outside edge of the right foot with your left hand. Stay here and lift your gaze up. Then anchor this left hand down. Extend the leg and use the shoulder to open it out. Use the shoulder. Deepen the breath. Coming here, you're on your shoulder. Let go of the clasp. Grab on either sides of the foot. Lift it up. Inhale, lengthen your spine. And if you have more range, bend the elbows. If not, Open the heart or bend your knee. Enjoy the hip stretch here. So you have one, two, three. Deepening the breath. Take one more breath. Good. 
Good. Tip back. Reach your right foot to your left heel. Hold it here. And grab onto the outside edge of the right foot with the left hand. Bend both knees and hold. Straighten your spine. And lift up. Move the chin to your knee. Right foot steps into the floor. Hands behind your hips. Lift the hips up. Slide your left foot to your right knee. And now lift as high as you can. Left foot meets the right. Walk the hands forward. Exhale. Forward bend. Open the feet. Yogi toe lock. Lengthen the spine. Any variation you want to go into. Bending the elbows. Taking a moment to pause between the sides. Now bend the knees, look up, feet together, upward worship, bend the elbows, press your neck into your forearm, lift up, and exhale, swing your arms, chair pose. Exhale, move through a vinyasa, forward. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Lift your left leg up. Down doggy split. Exhale, left knee to the right elbow. Extend the leg into cross-legged down dog. And press back. Deepen the breath. Slide the arm into the opposite direction and feel the IT band stretch. Right hand back down. Forward plank. Knee into the opposite elbow. Back into cross-legged down dog. Step the foot forward. Step the right foot in and reach your left arm for your right ankle. Finding here or grabbing both ankles and gazing through. Forward. Come up into a warrior one. Warrior one. And what we did on the other side. So right arm will go all the way to grab the left hip. Left arm to the right shoulder. Bend. Test it. Feel forward and back. Even the hips. And now as you reach for your sharky bind, drop the shoulders down. Open the spine up. Forward. Bend, square the hips off, fold over the leg. Again, going back into warrior one, you can shorten the stance a little bit. And back into the forward bend. Lift halfway up, step your right foot close to your left heel. Flex and hold. And now float the left foot all the way to the right knee. Bend into both knees and bring the elbow into the knee, a variation of eagle. Gaze forward.
step the left foot in. Grab your right thigh. Yogic toe lock. The right big toe with the pointer and the middle finger. Open the leg out. Hold your hip. Find it. Shoulders down. And now lift it up. Bringing the left hand to the right kidney. Drop, drop, drop. And exhale. Ankle to knee. Hands down. Take your snowflake. Although it's summer, this pose is an amazing hip opener and strengthener. So slide your arm through the left knee crease. Press the hands and clasp them together and sit as low as you can. Sit more. Right hand into the floor. Twist it out. Relieve that left leg. Lift your gaze up. Shoulders away from the ears. Left hand down. Spin your left foot out. Plant both hands into the floor. Hop your left foot slightly back. And then connect elbow to knee to other elbow crease. Here it is. Hold and rest. Well done. Just take a break here. Hugging the leg. Lifting up. Twisting more. Now grab the outside edge of the right foot with the left hand. Opening here, and then bring it back in, twist it out. Now we're going to lift the hips up, press off our right hand and wrist, and then extend the leg out sideways as we peek through the window. Let's do it in stages. Lengthen your spine. Lift your hips, extend the leg to the side, and now look through. And down. Great. Roll through the top of your left foot and readjust to come to the front of your mat. Extend your right fingertips back. Breathe here, lengthen your spine. Coming into Lord of the Fishes pose. Right foot wraps around the left thigh. We're going to drop to the side just like we did on the other side. And then loop the right arm through. Grab on to the outside edge of the foot and gaze back. Right, feel that action opening the shoulder. Now, Push back, lift the right leg, and create a little prop with the elbow. So you're propped here, and then you can lift it up or keep it here. Get back to sit. Grab both edges of the feet. Inhale, either halfway through or what we did on the other side. Bend the elbows. Inhale and exhale. And even one more breath. Now tip back, straighten your elbows. Raise your left leg all the way to your right heel. Hold. Hook the big and second toe into the heel like a fork. And then bend both knees. Grab onto the other outside edge of the foot. Straight arms, knees stacked, and shins pulling away from the center. Good. 
Deepen the breath. Extend and maybe bend the elbows. Go a little bit deeper into the scissor stretch. Left foot down. Smooth transition, hands behind the hips. Right foot into the left thigh, lift it up. Lift higher, drop the head. Feet together. Open, take tabletop, just to even it out. Exhale down. Gently find your center and roll down one vertebra at a time. Last finishing poses here. Yogic toe lock the big toes with the pointer in the middle finger. Take a little rock and then extend the arms, lift your gaze. If that's too much, you're going to keep it here at happy baby level or all the way. Breathe. And exhale. Relax the neck. Take eagle with your legs, wrap them tight, and gently twist here. Dropping the knees to the right, the gaze lifts over the left fingertips. Now calm up, wrap the right under the left and around and move the hands into the knees. Open, extend, flex the feet, lift. And other wrap, eagle legs, twist to the left. Gaze over the right. Twist deeper. Come out of it. Halfway through, contract your lower belly. Left arm into the right. Wrap into eagle. Point the hands up. Contract in your lower belly. And exhale, release. Lift the hips just to even out. And then roll them out one vertebra at a time as you come into relaxation pose. Focusing on the concept of tensegrity in the body. The even distribution between tension and relaxation. Notice how your joints now have more space and how your muscles float while hugging your joints. There's so much more room for deepening your practice and creating an artful flow that allows you to smooth out the transitions, both through the practice and your life. Make an intention to glide through life and ride with the current at every stage, honoring the heartfelt desires that shape your reality and your life. Bring the knees to the chest, hug them tightly, then cross the right ankle over the left, hold your thighs, rock up to sit. Inhale the arms through the sides, gather all that energy that you generated through your practice. And exhale through the center 
as they touch your heart, open them up to receive. Receive the blessings. Go with the flow. Release down and thank yourself for the practice. With an open mind, curious and loving heart. Thank you. Great intermediate practice if you liked it. Feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Yogaya Yoga, or follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, or check our website out. Have a beautiful day. Namaste.